Okay, next we're going to do the slump test. Um, with this, it's a really gentle technique if you make it to be so. Um, so what I'm going to do for Sarah here is, uh, Sarah, why don't you start with your hands behind your back. The only reason they do this is because it's tradition. Uh, it doesn't really do anything for the nervous system. The next portion of this test is I'm going to take two fingers and I'm going to put them on the back of her head like this. And Sarah, this is the one time slouching is okay in physical therapy. I want you to go ahead and slouch and bring your chin to your chest. Okay? Do you have any symptoms there? No. Now, I am not pushing down on this, okay? Because I do not want to further bias the test than necessary. I am just using my two fingers to make sure her head doesn't come up at any point. Okay? From this position, we can change um, with the legs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Sarah, why don't you go ahead and straighten your left knee out. Or right, right's fine, too. Sarah, do you feel anything with that? Yeah. What do you feel? Stretch in the back of my thigh. And Stretch in the back of the thigh. So now if I want to see if the nervous system is involved, Sarah, why don't you go ahead and raise your head up a little bit. And then I'm blocking so she doesn't go too far. Does that make a difference? Yeah, it's decreased. It's decreased. Now what if I have you bend your ankle up? It's worse. It's worse. And then if I change head position? A little better. A little bit better. Okay. And what if I have you sit nice and tall? Gone. Gone. Okay. So that's another way that we can implicate the nervous system with, with this test. You don't have to do the dorsiflexion and eversion bias. You can do plantar flexion inversion or um, you know dorsiflexion eversion as well with any of these. So um, you know it's just it's just another way of gauging the way the nervous system will react to um, different stimuli.